you do is look through these, the fraction grading, and um, I want you to tilt it so that the rainbows you see from this light up here are to the left and to the right. Okay, you should see red, green, blue, purple, rainbow, uh, either above and below or to left and right. If it's above and below, tilt it 90 degrees and you'll see them left and right. All right. And what we want to do is be able to see that. Um, now, uh, take a minute and record what you see. Does anybody see a rainbow on left and right? You kind of tilt it a little bit, you can see it on the left. Tilt it the other way, you can see it on the right. Go ahead and jot down what you see. What you're doing is, and let's fire up the helium source. Uh, and go ahead and put it straight so everybody can see it. And uh, Ms. Riley, you might want to move yourself a little bit right out there. Yeah, and you guys over here, we're going to tilt it from side to side. But go ahead and take a look at and see, see if you can see the color split out left, left or right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, what do you see? Do you see a rainbow? Yeah. No, you don't see a rainbow. No. You see the, you see the lamp straight through. And then off to the left. What colors do you see? Rainbow colors. Blue, green, yellow, red. Yeah, they're separated. There's colors missing. Why? Why? Yes, why? Because of quantum physics. The fact that you do not see a continuous spectrum in only discrete spectral lines is because of the quantum structure of the helium atom. What you are seeing in the spectrum of hydrogen, but there's one thing that you'll notice compared to what you've got here, and hydrogen, when you look at I2G or U2, the color set is different. You're looking at the quantum fingerprints of helium. When an astronomer looks at a star, and he puts the light from the star, you know, he concentrates it with a telescope, and then puts a diffraction grating, and he breaks the spectrum apart. If he sees these colors, he knows that that star's got a lot of helium. 